This is an exciting time for me, as I'm sure it is for you as well. Getting ready for graduation and preparing for college has really brought back some memories. One of the things that I truly loved was going on field trips. I went on field trips ever since I was from kindergarten to just about a week ago. <laughs> so I want you all to think back with me and think about your favorite field trip. Got it? Okay. Now I'd like to talk to you all about my favorite field trip. I was a part of a small homeschool group that went on field trips together in Kent where I grew up. And uh, once upon a time, when I was eight, I, uh, we went on a field trip to a church. And I go to the church and I open up this door and I am in awe of literally hundreds and hundreds of these bugs in glass containers everywhere. I mean, I was amazed. I mean, this was fantastic. I mean, for those of you who don't know, for an eight-year-old boy, bugs in glass containers is absolutely the most amazing thing in the entire world. So, I saw these cool bugs, and I got to speak to this bug guy. His, his real title is an entomologist, but I always called him the bug guy. And so, looking around, seeing all these cool scorpions and spiders, all kinds of bugs that I absolutely loved. And then, I saw this spider, and I said, hey, I've seen that before. And it was an aggressive house spider. And I looked at it, I thought about it, I looked at it again, and I thought to myself, I can catch that. So, the next day, I went on a very serious bug-catching safari. And this happened for about a year. I would take glass jars, and I would go around, catch all sorts of really cool bugs, and I'd study them, I'd label them. I mean, this was cool, and the entire family got involved. My mom helped me make this bug book where I'd put the bugs inside and label them, and I caught all these kinds of bugs. I even got to get this really rare green stink bug, but I wasn't allowed to keep that one for very long. And it got to the point where people would send me these bugs to identify. And one day, I got this really cool big beetle. I mean, giant beetle. I, it couldn't fit in the palm of my hand, but my hands were a little smaller back then. So I'm looking at this beetle, and I'm going through all these beetle bugs trying to identify it. I'm looking around. I can't find it. can't find it. And I finally found it. It wasn't a beetle, though. So I turned to my mom and said, Mom, it's not a beetle. It's a cockroach. And her expression was, no. Nah. I said, yeah, Mom, it's a cockroach. So she goes over and has to make sure it's really a cockroach. And, well, let's just say it didn't go over so well. So. But the point is, being homeschooled, we had an amazing childhood. You know, I loved what I got to do. I got to learn things that I was interested in, and I got to learn by doing. We all got to focus on things that we really enjoy doing. I mean, we had, we had to learn some of the things we don't enjoy as well, but... For the most part, we gotta focus on things that we really liked. For many of us, being homeschooled cut out the distractions of public schooling. Mark Twain said, I've never let my schooling interfere with my education. And our parents didn't let school affect our education either. So we were raised with homegrown morals and family values that will accompany us and help us succeed in every aspect of our lives. Now, my fellow homeschool graduates, with the ending of our homeschool careers, we will be heading off into the world. And with these diplomas, we shall prove that, as Benjamin Franklin put it, an investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. Let's take this education our parents have given us and put it to use throughout our lives. You know, we may go on to do careers that we've dreamed about our entire lives, like being a police officer for me, maybe an engineer, pilot, a chef, maybe even an entomologist or two. But whatever you do, apply what your parents have taught you and always go out in the world and play hard, work hard, do your best and use what your parents have strived to teach you. But before you go do that, go thank whoever took you on your favorite field trip. Thank you all very much. Happy graduation. <laughs>